Well, I'll be doggone. I'll be darn, folks. That fish is easing off. I'm right here in some deep, 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 deep water. I'm going to take my jacket off real quick before we lay the steel to him. Let's see what we got here. I got him. He ain't too big, but that is some clear water, y'all got to admit. Now it's overcast. And we can still see that fish. That is some clear water right there. Let's flip him in the boat right here. Yes, I'm using a live crawfish again because about three weeks ago I caught a bunch of them. And I'm needing to use them before they die. I'd rather for a bass to get a hold of him, but that's the first fish of the day. Large jaw in about 15 feet of water. 15 foot deep right here on this little bluff. Beautiful bass, let's let him go. Let him go. Let's see if we can watch him swim off. Well, is he gonna do it? There he goes. My goodness, that water's clear. Right here, there's a, just a little drop right here, and I went over it with my trolling motor, and I seen a bunch of fish piled up right in here. Now, I don't know if they're bass, but we did catch one. Maybe there's some more. But I'm gonna fish areas like that, the deeper edges that drop off and see if we can catch a few bass. Um, it's comfortable out here. It's about 55 degrees, which is comfortable for this time of year. So just stay with me and I'll show you what I'm using. Using that dude right there. That's exactly what we're using. And I've got a rubber band around him. For those of y'all who's watched the channel, you know how I fish with crawfish. I put a rubber band around them like that. And then I'm using a little Gamakatsu hook. I think that's a size one. And that crawfish caught a fish. So what I'm going to do is turn around here and get back on the edge of this brake line. It just drops off uh, pretty quick to around 14 feet of water. I'm right here on the edge of a creek. And there's a few rocks out here. Right there where that big rock is, if y'all can see it, there's some rocks off the side of that drop. And that crawfish didn't get hurt a bit, but he did get eat. All right, let's put him right back in there. Now right there where that crawfish hit, it's around 14 feet of water. I'm gonna let him go to the bottom. Now I'm not using no weight, I never do when I'm fishing with crawfish. And I'm using 10 pound test braid. And I've got a leader about 12 feet, uh, 9, 10 or 11 feet, something like that long, tied with a double uni knot. And that's it. A medium action rod. This is a Gander Mountain rod. I use them a lot. I have two of them. Six foot six long, and I'm using, that was the first fish I've caught on this new reel. This is actually a Daiwa reel, but it's called the Fugo, F-U-E-G-O, and I believe it has, it's the 2500 series, 2500D, but I believe it has eight ball bearings, if I'm not mistaken. There he is. There he is, folks. Let's see how big he is. He ain't bad. He ain't no giant. <laughs> Come here, boy. Come on back here. I know that water's cold. You can't hardly come up and jump because of it. That fish there was about 10 feet deep. 
a little bit shallower than that first one I caught. Come here. Quit. You stop it. There he is. About a two pounder, close to it. Not a real big one, but you never know. Now you notice that rubber bands. See that crawfish is eat. If you look in there, you can see his whisker. They eat them tail first. Let's let that little feller go. But uh, let me point something. Out. It's very rare that I use I uh, lose a rubber band. I've used them as many as four, five, six times like that. And I'll take that little rubber band. These are the Walmartins, by the way, and twist it like that. And just get me a crawfish. See what that water is real clear. So it, these little crawfish could catch a big bass. You never know. Here's one, one pincher, old one pincher. slipper hook right up under his now he's got a leg up under there right up under the, those two rubber bands like that for those of y'all who's new to the channel that way I don't have to hook the crawfish and he'll stay alive and he's in that hooks right there in the center where he, he's going to be balanced that way you see now I'm just going to go along this brake line and go back towards this other point I didn't catch an, another fish over there didn't get another bite so I <laughs> I guess that big water fish that I seen was probably gizzard shad but I'm still right on the side of this brake line but that uh, fluorocarbon leader that I have on is real real important now that crawfish is right on that drop off and I'm going to keep him moving barely when he makes contact with the bottom I'm going to check up on him and move him a couple inches if I don't if there's anything around like I've said before folks they'll find it matter of fact I've done broke off twice fish boy he thumped it the best thing we can do is thump him back where's he at Right up under the boat. Well, this is a good one. If it's a bass. Dead gone. What do we got right here? It ain't fighting like a bass, folks. Not at all. Feels like a drum to me. Sure does. It's either a drum or a darn catfish. It's one or the other. A lot of different fish that hit crawfish. It is. It's a drum and a good one, too. They love a crawfish. Look at this fish. They pull just like a saltwater drum or a black drum. And they look identical. The only difference is he don't have the, the bands. There he is. That's our big son of a gun. We'll have to net him. See if our net's big enough for him. Come on, boy. <laughs> Barely. Gosh, night. What a drum. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I should because I've caught a bunch of drum on crawfish, folks. I mean, a bunch of them. But he thumped it, and he comes straight off of that drop-off towards the boat. Look how he crunched that up. My goodness, he's got some crunchers now, don't we? Let's grab him right here if he'll let us, and we'll let him go. My goodness, what a fish. Look at him. He's mad. But I'm going to tell you, a double uni knot is real strong. I've done popped off two of these right here, and I'm using a Palomar knot, and that knot's still holding up. So, that double 
uni knot's a good one. I'm gonna rig another crawfish up and I'm gonna get back on this point here because this one has a lot of rocks coming off of it. And I feel like there might be another bass right there, but I'm gonna work with that. And I may go back to that one over there too. I'm not quite sure. We'll see. All I know is let's catch another one. Whoa. Oh, shut up, you old man. You started. You're mean to me. You take me to the ramp. I'm tired of your old bickering that you do all the time. And me out here trying to fish. Well, I'm going to say this. I got another dead blame drum, folks. That ain't no bass fish. There he is. I can see him down there about six, seven feet deep. Here he comes. Another drum fish. Doggone it. That's some drum fish down through here, ain't they? Mm. They fight. It's amazing how hard they can fight in this cold water. I don't know. He's a pretty good fish, ain't he? Doggone right. I'm after a bass. And these drum fish keep biting, folks. But really, that drum fish right there can fight harder than a bass. Let's get him off right here. I don't like to stick my hands in the gill of a fish. Quit. That's the worst thing you can do. You'll kill them most every time sticking your hand right in there in that gill. Sets up an infection and kills them. Let's let him go. Well, he ain't been out. Of there he goes. Straight down. Goodness gracious. Whoa! Folks, I'm going to let it go. The crawfish today. Hey, whoa. Saved the day. Caught a lot of crappie today, but they were real, real small. Not worth really messing with. They dropped the water. Uh, they bottomed the water out, so it was kind of difficult. I didn't find no big fish. Didn't find no good crappie. So I mixed it up today is what I'm saying. Sometimes you have to do that to, to make a, at least a half-decent fishing video. I want to thank y'all very much for spending a few minutes out here with me. Hey, they ain't nothing like the sport of fishing. Don't let nobody tell you any different. Whoa. Go fishing with me.